Hey everyone, I am Samek Agarkar and welcome to Agarku Media Academy. This is the 8th tutorial in Blender tutorial series. So in the last tutorial, we saw a few edit mode tools uh, to edit the object. So we saw bevel, extrude, inset, bevel and loop cut. Now we will be looking at other uh, tools inside of edit mode in the Blender. So let's first delete this mesh because I don't want so much complications just right now we'll be looking at the complications afterwards for now i just want a simple cube so i'll just delete it and add a new cube uh, to add a new cube either you can go to add mesh and cube or ctrl z uh, we can use the shortcut for adding shift a is the shortcut and same again mesh and cube so this is our cube let's go to the edit mode uh, to go into the edit mode either you can go from here or when we are in the layout uh, workspace and in the viewport and the cursor is in this uh, 3d viewport we can just click tab so tab is the toggle between uh, edit mode and object mode right here so right now we are in the edit mode let's look at knife so first of all what is knife knife is knife which is used to cut across now we already saw the loop cut tool which cuts a loop around uh, the object now it can be let's first look at the loop cut so here you can see that a complete loop will be cut out from the object now it can be a case when i don't want the complete loop to be cut out i just want some portion of it to be cut out so for those uh, reasons we will be using the knife tool so let's see how we can use the knife tool i just want a line across here what i will do is in the knife uh, tool uh, when I'm in the knife tool selected the knife tool I'll just drag and right till right here right now I can see two points which will be the new vertices that will be created uh, for this cut and as soon as I click enter it will be cut red out now you can see here this line is just here it is not here like it is not also here it is also not here it is just here where we use the knife tool so that is the difference between loop cut and the knife tool loop cut gives the complete loop which will be cut knife tool uh, using the knife tool you can exactly select where the cut will be so this is the use of knife tool now there is also the next um, tool which is poly build, poly build tool now what poly build tool is basically this is I think a new addition inside of uh, uh, Blender 2.82 I am very not very exactly sure if it was there or not but I think it is a new uh, addition into the Blender 2.82 which is basically mostly used for retopologizing the meshes we will be looking at what retopology is in very 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 it is very very advanced concept right now we just want to look at uh, what polydor poly build tool does exactly so uh, for that we don't want the this so much clutterness also we'll first go to the object mode and delete the cube we want a very 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 simple uh, mesh which is a plane so here we have a plane we go to the edit mode and now we'll be using the poly build tool now the poly build tool is basically polygon building tool right so how to build a polygon now when we are uh, in the poly build tool the uh, shortcut is shift 3 uh, when we are in the poly build tool you can see when we hover near the edge the complete edge gets highlighted in blue color when we hover near the vertex the vertex gets highlighted in the blue color so when the vertex is highlighted in the blue color color we can just click and move the vertex as usual right we can just click and move the vertex as usual now when we are near the edge we can just select it and drag it the complete edge will be extruded right now we already saw there is extrude uh, tool also which does the same thing but this is but this is not used for that this is something different this is uh, different from the basic edge basic extrusion this is very 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 fast when we want to retopologize or create meshes very 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 fastly then this is very 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 useful just you can do something like this and it will just 
work now i'm of course not creating a very beautiful scene here so i'm just showing you how it works right now one more thing here that we want to see right here is now let's see what happens when we select the vertex which is at the middle now here we selected the vertex which is at the corner right so we can just move it around what happens when we select the vertex at the edge the same thing but if we just click control i am just holding the control and i am near the edge i can see this happening so wherever i click now the triangle will be created the same thing happens here if i just click it and drag it i can complete the triangle with the poly build tool if i want one more vertex here i can just drag it here i can just drag it here i think this is something which you need to you know try it yourself to understand what the <laughs> what is happening right here so poly build tool is very 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 important uh, addition in blender 2.82 i think uh, because it is really helpful in creating uh, in creating the retopology of uh, you know various sculpts i don't want to get into what retopology is just right now but that is just for information and that is just for uh, you to understand what exactly polybuild tool is now the next is spin let's say i want to spin right so this is what spinning is so for spinning let's first uh, have a very a uh, good uh, you know mesh which we can spin we'll go to this uh, select mode and first um, scale it in let's say y axis to become a rod so it is a plane which is rectangle and not square as before so we go to the spin tool and you can just select it right here and we can just spin it like this now when you go to this you can see the steps here right how many steps do you want it to have 1 2 3 4 5 all right we want the we can also select the angle just from here we can select the center so if you can see this is really 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 cool y axis you can select if you want to rotate it along like this so this is really 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 cool as you can see spin tool is very very helpful in creating you know uh, different uh, kinds of uh, meshes where a spin some kind of a spin is needed so if i just increase the steps and increase the angle i think i will be able to create a complete circle just like this so 360 is a complete circle and just like this it creates a very 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 cool looking uh, mesh just right here so if we go to the edit mode you can see very cool looking mesh is being formed so this is what spin tool is again spin tool uh, all these tools that we are uh, looking at in this uh, video are somewhat advanced you don't need it always but it's handy to know that they exist so that you can use them as and when needed so again let's delete this object also let's just again add the simple cube and let's go to the edit mode now we have seen this spin tool also now we'll look at the next tool uh, which is smooth tool right smooth tool it just smoothens out everything that we are trying to do so i think this is not uh possible for this vertex we just need some more mesh to work with so let's first have some more mesh to work with we will do control r for loop cut and just scale it right here then control r right here something like this we are just trying to make some unique you know uh, mesh to work with cool so this looks awesome now let's see what we can do with the smooth tool so as soon as i select the smooth tool and i can just smooth it out as you can see so if i select all of them and smooth out 
so either i can smooth it out see you can see i can decrease the smooth by dragging one way and increase the smoothness by dragging another way so it is just helpful in smoothing out the faces so let's say you have a very weird looking um, object uh, that you have created and in, and you just want to smoothen out the vertices and smoothen out the shape of it so you can use the smooth uh, tool inside of blender so next tool is edge slide now what is edge slide let's look at it when you have a loop cut something like this we can just so we have just selected this edge and we can just slide it just along here now if i'm in the uh, select mode i'm in the edge select mode if i select this edge and i try to grab it i'll be grabbing grabbing it or moving it anywhere on the screen i don't want that i just want to move the uh, edge just on that same line right i don't want the uh, edge to you know leave its positions i just want it to slide this way so for that i can use this edge slide tool so as soon as i'm here i can do something like this now uh, there is again a shortcut for edge sliding so as we have seen g is for moving if we just tap g two times that is g g then it is edge slide so g is for moving and g g is for edge sliding so this is very handy you just don't need to always go to this panel and uh, use this g move g g slide so this is very 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 handy then we have shrink and flatten so as the name suggests either we can shrink uh, the edge or you know widen the edge so as the name suggests it's very same next we have the shear modifier shear tool shearing is basically you just have one rectangle and we are just um, shearing it away you are, we are just pushing it from one side so that is shearing so right now we have this if i just click right here and i just uh, increase this you can see that it is being sheared if i select everything and i use this you can see it sharing so it is something like you know italics that we use in uh, uh, word editors so you can just shear the complete mesh and we can just create some you know unique shapes using shear shear tool uh, right here right so this is about shear tool let's just again go to the object mode let's delete it let's add a new cube to work on let's go to the edit mode again and the last tool that we have here is rip region now rip region is <coughs> we just want to open the box so for that we will be using the rip region so it can be a case where you just want to open the box you can you just want to uh, open up the uh, face of whatever the object that you have created so we just select the edge or even if you select a vertex you can just detach it from the uh, other um, so where it was joined right here we just detached it so this is what uh, rip region is all about rip region the shortcut is v right so these are all the tools that we have seen uh, we have covered all these tools which are available uh, in the left panel in the edit mode so i think it's it's too advanced for you or even for me to uh, remember all of these things uh, the best way is to you know try all these tools out yourself try different shapes try all the tools on them and just uh, understand and learn from by yourself how all these tools work so we have seen all these tools for now in the next video we will be looking at something else uh, we will learn something new and till then uh, that's it for this video if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel please do subscribe uh, please do share this video with your friends and family so that they can also learn 3d animation software blender is very 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 free unlike other uh, animation softwares like 3ds max maya cinema 4d all of them are paid versions blender is very 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 free uh, so that's make it that makes it very unique so i think everyone should be able to you know create at least a few simple uh, objects inside of blender 
so that they can just get the gist of how 3d animations and stuff like that work so thank you thank you thank you so much for uh, liking my channel and subscribing my channel if you have any suggestions or if you have any queries please um, comment in the comment section below thank you thank you thank you so much for all your support see you in the next video till then keep smiling and keep learning